Hey everybody, Mr. Fiber and my dad and I took a trip, went to Walmart over Easter. I hope you all had a wonderful Easter. Someone asked me to look. They had, look at all this ribbon. They had a lot of ribbon. They had several different kinds of glues. Someone asked me to take a look at their craft aisles. So I'm going to go through just about everything I saw. They really had quite a bit. These are all glue sticks. That's some glitter. Chalk writing pins for chalkboards. They had, I was surprised, they had like these glue guns and then they had another one. You'll see it after a while. Mr. Fiber said, look. They even have a table for cutting material. They have lots of acrylic paint and brushes of all kinds, all the painting supplies. This is more glue. This E6000 is really great. I keep a couple of those in my arsenal. Loctite, that's some alcohol ink even. They have they have quite a few different pens. I wasn't sure what this is, but it's that, it's for pouring resin. I guess it's like a mold for resin. They didn't have any resin there, but they had that glitter. So I guess that, that goes together. They did have quite a bit of the wood that you can paint on there's some stencils I didn't go through them I'm not collecting those anymore but yeah see they got a lot of the wood stuff they have the the clay pots that you can paint on they had the um, key the keyboard there's the chalkboards uh, this was cool. That was printed on. Birdhouses. Clockworks. So if you wanted to paint a clock on one of those pieces of wood, then you could just put in the, the clockworks and you'd make your own clock. And then we get into lots and lots of beads. But Walmart's always had a lot of beads. They have the jewelry findings. They have wire. These little owls. Look at these owls. 412, yeah. There's some charms. They almost look like mood rings. I'm not going to go through each and every one of them, but they they had a lot. They did not have very many. There, that was a strung bead there. They didn't have very many of those. These are great for diamond painting, too. The bead storage. Lots of the bead storage stuff is good for diamond painting. Not that. These are good. These are the little individual ones. They're good for diamond painting. They were like a dollar something. There's the little plastic bags for putting the jewelry in. Elastic. Lobster claw clasps. They even have a bunch of the the, um, the tools like the cutters and the crimpers and all of that. They had this tool kit. It's got everything in it. Yeah, somebody asked me to take a look. There goes Mr. Fiber. <laughs> Here's all the kids. They had a whole bunch of kids 
kits, craft kits. There was a whole section here of those. This is the Walmart in Vernon, Texas. We drove a good hour away to go over and take a look. There's pony beads. Felt. Canvases. Tempura paint. Little paint palettes. They have the magnetic tape. Did y'all know that? I buy these quite often for, for different things. Lots of popsicle sticks and dowels. They had the dowels in two different sizes. See, there's another glue gun kit. Palms, little bitty palms. This was a kind of a cool kit too. It had several things inside, eyes and pipe cleaners and palms. And I, I think there was even like some feathers and stuff in there. I don't know. It was a pr pretty cool kit. Those are the, those rings can be used to make, you can crochet around them. I thought about getting that thread for something, but I, I'm going to wait. Got to get through some of my other crafts first. This one was neat. It has the, the wheel in it for doing the weaving. So that was a nice kit. That's the plastic friendship bracelets. Elastic cord. Oh, that's, what's that doing here? Clay. That had a little bit of clay. These, look at these. Look at the glitter. They're brushes. It's a little brush set. That's cool. More clay. Now this was Neon Dreams Jumbo Bucket of little rubber bands. So you make the jewelry and it's got the the kit the stuff to wrap them and all that. It's in, in instructions and stuff inside. Puffy paint, paint for painting on, that has, they had t-shirts there, they had the tie-dye, a couple of different sizes of the tie-dye kits. Totes, aprons, flower sacks, bandanas. Flower sack towels. Not sacks, but towels. So that's another little kit with the bottles. Paints. Lots of paints. I was kind of surprised at how much painting they had. They had some easels. And then they had the larger um, canvases up at the top. They really weren't all that expensive. And then you get into markers. Oh, I could buy so many markers. This brand was called King Art. It was a really good 
I, I don't know about the quality of them on the King Art, but they're, they were reasonably priced and they had several different options. Gel crayons, I think those were. Oh, they had lots of stuff here. And then they had the notebooks and spirals for painting and doodling and all that kind of stuff. These are, are you can use water on these. And they're spiral bound, so you just flip around and do another page. You can do collages in these books. All the way from the large ones to the small ones to the large ones. Then we're getting into the material. Don't worry, the yarn is coming. I did find yarn, but this is all the bolts. They had all kinds of like. A lot of material in the store and they had larger cuts of fabric this was the cottons they have the fat quarters they have the big rolls there Lots of thread. Good selection of thread. They also have these zippers. Now, y'all, I spend a little bit of time here looking at stuff because I wasn't sure how to read that. But these were the seven inch. And then it goes, as you go down, it goes to the longer, like the nine. And then, I don't know. It, they got longer as you went down, but I spent a lot of time kind of looking through these and what all the differences were. Metal, there's zipper pulls, just the pulls, which is nice because if you have one of those zip up hoodies, you could replace the zipper on it. Zipper pull. See, there's more down there. I'm like, oh, I don't know what I'm looking at. So I wanted to get a couple of zippers. I actually got rid of, I had a whole bunch of older ones. And I wish I'd kept a couple of them. But a couple of them is not going to take up too much space as opposed to a whole bucket. And we got buttons, lots and lots of buttons. Just a bag of buttons. Then you got the smaller bags of buttons little sets and I, I take some time here looking these these are kind of cool you know they're flat so you could use them for mixed media also the ones that are flat you can They had a bunch of the different Disney buttons. I'm looking through them so I know I'm not really showing you guys all of them. Because I was looking. See, that one had, but it had, it was like a Christmas set. Because it had poinsettias. I didn't get that one. I did get some buttons. That one was cute with Tigger and Minnie and Pooh. That one was cute. All the prices were a little bit different. Here's one, these are dogs. 
That's a dog ones. That unicorn. And then they had the villains. There's a, it's always a, a deal of notions that you can get little kits, little notion kits. Here's more cuts of fabric. And then your fat quarters. You know, I know at one time, there's your muslin or backing. At one time, I know Walmart was going to quit carrying any craft stuff. But everybody threw a fit, so they're still at it. I, t I spent a little bit of time looking at the different kinds of batting. I still don't really totally understand what all of it is for. Cushions I get. Then you've got your, your fiber fills, you know, your your roll-out fiber fill, and then you've got your fiber fill that you pull from the bag to use stuffing for amigurumis and all that. They had several different types and kinds, and I don't, I don't totally get it. This is the one that I probably am the most familiar with here, and it was $6 for that bag. Patches. Oh, they're so cute. That's some really fun patches. Really thought about getting the paw print ones. I haven't used the ones I've got yet. And then this little section here, it's a pretty good selection. I remember when Walmart had tons and tons and tons of patterns. They don't nearly have as many as they used to. I had a hard time finding the prices for a while. I looked at this and looked at this trying to find the price, but you have to look that through into like each section. They're sectioned off and then the prices shows you the section. finally figured it out look how much they are I shall remember when they were like one or two dollars a piece it's unbelievable how much patterns are these are more I think we're getting into more of the sewing stuff here like iron-on patches for repairing jeans and stuff to do, invisible hems and stuff like that. Um, bra extenders, fray check, all that kind of stuff here. I was kind of looking through for something particular, looking at the different kinds of needles and things. There was a needle that I was looking at to use for something else. I have a sewing basket. I do have a machine. And I do sew on occasion. Oh, I've been looking for an awl. Ah, cool. And I have my mother-in-law's machine. Mr. Fiber's mom. This would be good for bags. Snaps, closures, pins, threaders, 
See, I'm looking at all these different kinds because there's something I'm looking for. Do you guys sew? Is sewing something that you would be interested in? I think these Walmart prices are pretty decent for the material for... I did not look on the bolt, but for the supplies, these prices seemed really decent to me. Pin cushions and pins. Snaps. That's the the pliers where you, you put the snaps in there and you can put them on. I think I already have one of those. That's one of those little steam irons for small projects. When you're working, dur during the time when you're working, you can set that iron with you and just kind of do a little at a time. Lots of scissors. I've bought several pair of scissors at Walmart and they're always pretty good. I guess these are for notions, these containers. There's your rotary cutters and blades. And I thought those prices were pretty decent also. That's a sharpener. They also have machines. So if you want a sewing machine, I feel like those are a pretty decent price. Now we're getting into the crochet thread. And they have some of your peaches and cream. I like those little peaches and creams. Those actually feel softer to me. And then now we see their hooks. There's a hook set. There's two or three hook sets. There's metal, there's plastic. I had not seen these. These are a Lion brand. Three sets of knitting needles and they are the bamboo. For eight dollars and something, that's pretty good. More knitting needles, lots of boy knitting metal needle knitting needles. A few circulars. Those are good starters, you guys. These ergonomic ones looked good. Then the boy set. A kit with instructions. But the big ones. A couple different plastic canvases and a loom. They were out of the bigger loom sets. I didn't see those anywhere. They have some of the Burnett blanket and it was $9.98. This is the baby sport. Then they have the ombre, mandala ombre. Five ninety seven each. Lots of different colors. There's happy, harmony, regular mandalas. Not too many colors, but they have a few. And then they have the mandala baby. They have the mandala baby sparkle.
and they have the hometown. This is a bulky six. Forget what color this one is. And they had a few of those in that variegated one. Of course, I like that teal. Yeah. And there's that Tweety one. I like that one, too. Then they have this bigger, like, seven-weight, chunky blanket yarn. And they always have a few of the super savers. They either have jumbo, they have regular, and they have quite a few colors, but not like, not a lot, a lot, just a few. I mean, they have basic colors. That's the thing I noticed is they have basic colors. They have a few of the ombres, but they don't have all of the ombres, but they were $7.48. That's a pretty good price for the ombre. I was doing some browsing in these, so I don't know how much yarn I actually got in the picture. <laughs> so I'm like browsing. They have some of the metallics. And then my camera is going out of focus. I don't know what's up with that. They have these jumbo stripes for $7.48. And I don't know if that's good. I remember it doesn't seem very long ago when these were $3.49. And before that, $1.94. They have some puzzle, like four or five colors. More colors of the Red Heart, the Super Saver. There's the Pioneer Woman stuff. That is not very soft, just so you know. Some thread kits. Some Ida. Some hoops, some more flower sack towels, and you've got your aprons and things that you can sew on, you can embroider on. They only had like three or four different kinds of Ada. Kind of low on that so supply. This was an end cap, and that's the aisle. That's the whole aisle. That was the yarn, y'all. That was it. This is all the stuff that goes along with the crickets and the silhouettes, all the vinyl and stuff. And I looked down here, they were two something. I have a mini, I have an easy press, bunch of tools. Yeah, exacto knives for cutting blades and things.
they're getting into like markers and pin sets and I'm like oh I love all this stuff albums they didn't have a lot of card stock at this store coloring Uh, $15 was a lot for that coloring book, actually. This is all the cardstock. Or, uh, paper pads, excuse me. They have cardstock some, but these are all the paper pads. That one was kind of cool. It's only one-sided. I didn't see any double-sided paper packs. And then your sticker packs, there was not a lot of stickers. There's just a little section here. Lots of alphabets and things, because that's school stuff. This was the planners. They had two or three happy planners. Everything was ring bound. I don't think they had any that was... I mean, spiral bound. I don't think they had any on rings. Pretty colors. Eight forty eight for those. I wasn't really enthused with any of it. That's the that's the budget one from Pin and Gear. It was a good size. That's what the inside looks like. I know a lot of shuffling. I was trying to figure out how to look at it. This was the one pack that they had of Happy Planner stickers. One. It was on clearance. And look how thin it is. It was just a little one for four bucks. I did not get it. Lots of notebooks. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is my first time doing a voiceover to get around the music. I just finally learned how to do this. I don't even know that my other phone had the option. But this new phone did. So I really enjoyed going through and looking at all of the stuff. I know it's not the best camera work in the world. But I've done the best I can. And I hope you enjoyed it. On our way home. Have a wonderful day, y'all. And you know what I always say. Have fun today. Bye, y'all.